Hey guys, Zelonius here. Welcome to another video on the channel. In this video today, we are looking at the best meta attackers on FC24 right now. There are a lot of options. I've included 46, so that's two full squads. I've been doing one squad for the other positions, but there's just so many players, heroes, icons, gold cards, all the special cards we've had, that I just couldn't do this in one squad without leaving out way too many players, in my opinion. And there's still going to be a lot. A lot of players left out. There's no cards 86 or below. All the cards in this are 87 above. It's not to say if a card's not in this video, they're not good. But I just wanted to... Well, I did. I wanted originally to do it one squad, but I didn't want to leave it um, with so many cards missing out. So here we go. Starting off roughly out. We're going to go through them quick, to be honest. We want pace. Good skill moves. Weak foot. Skill moves not as essential to me, though, this year. Weak foot definitely is important. Play styles are important. High shoot, good on the ball, physical, all the good stuff. Liao, crazy card. He's got some of the best play styles. Finesse is great. Quick step. Gold, rapidly. This Liao, once he gets ahead, you ain't catching him. Fernando Torres. What is Torres' price right now? I was actually interested in from my team. He has that gold finesse, Fernando Torres. 770k. Anyone with that gold finesse is always pretty expensive. Rapid, quick step. Traveller. Uh, he's got power header, so he's going to be good in the air. 4-4. Four, four. Really well wound card, to be honest. Uh, Rodrigo, the SBC, with a Hunter 99 finishing, 99 XL, 98 sprint, 4-4. Four, four. Gold first touch added, some nice play styles. By the way, if you do enjoy these videos where I'm looking at the best players in the game, recommending you cards to try out for your team, tactics, gameplay tips to show us, please do consider subscribing to the channel every day. I'm putting out multiple videos to help you guys enjoy FC24 more. Joe Cole. Pretty good card in general, but that gold technical really does ex accelerate, accentuate the card, make it so much better. Cover at Skellia, decent upgrade on his gold card. I used his gold card at the start. Um, it's not an amazing card yet, but the play styles are pretty good. The stats on this not bad, 5-5 five, five as well. Bad, pretty well-rounded stats, but then that gold technical, incisive pass, finesse, quick step, Traveller, really nice card. Paolo Futra. Gold technical with incisive pass, first touch, quick step. Really nice. Um, don't know how he's got his incisive pass, but only 78 vision. Um, three star, uh, weak foot, not the best. But he's insane on the ball, really quick as well. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that god squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code Zell at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. Uh, and he's also Spanish League a hero, pretty useful. Di Maria, potential for this card to get upgraded. Freestyle weak foot's not ideal, but he's got some of the best passing dribbling stats in the game. Ridiculous long shot. He's got the best Traveller I've used. His uh, play styles are crazy too. Rooney, uh, some pretty nice play styles on him. Really unique card, to be honest. Uh, four lad, insane shot. Not the best play styles, but good enough. Uh, four four, um, pretty good card in general. I'd like to see a five star four lad. Uh, Sophia Smith probably getting a trailblazer this week, from what I've gathered. Um, she could be one of the top top tier attackers if she gets um, a good play style plus. Right now she's already crapped. If she goes up like two levels though, with a hawk, she'll be nearly maxed out on shooting. She will have maxed out pace. Passive against Bear. Um, she looks pretty crazy in general. She's already got that five-star weak foot. And she's got some good play styles. Just give her a play style plus. Like, they gave her finesse or something. What a card that would be. Di Natale, overpriced in my opinion. However, finesse shot gold's amazing. Pinged pass, Travella. Um, really good stats in general. I just don't think he's worth it. Considering his chemistry and he's not got a five-star. Cantona. Really nice play styles. Again, Flair's a bit of a waste. You'd rather it be someone else, but it's a cool one to have. Cracked card, as you can see. Griezmann, there is a debate that his uh, gold might be better because this one loses the gold finesse and gets Traveller. But it's some really nice play styles in general. It's the best Griezmann's been in a long time on FIFA. Son, ridiculous price for this card. A million coins right now for this SPC. Anyone who did that needs their head checking. Like, absolute waste. But, really good card on there. The gold is not much worse, is what I would say. But this is the best version of him. 
I would have liked to have seen a few playstyles out to this one, but it's still a really good card. Son's great, crazy in game. Usman Dembele, nice playstyles. If he gets a few more added, could be pretty special. 5-5. Five, five. This is a pretty decent upgrade on his 8-6. Butra with a Hawk. He's getting 93 shot power, 98 finishing. And the other thing about him. The other thing about him is really, really good play styles. That gold technical's crazy. Five star weak foot. And on a game where you don't need skill moves as much, it's a pretty damn good card. Morgan, one of the best finishes in the game. That gold finesse really makes her. She does feel fairly quick in game as well. I'd love to see her get some upgrades. Figo, I actually use him in my team right now. I don't know why it shows the loan rather than the one I have. Really good play styles. Um, pretty damn good card in general with the uh, Hunter on him as well. Dalglish, five star weak foot, um, for gold finesse on a five star weak foot. This is basically a better son. A bit quicker, bit better overall shot, similar passing, but a lot better on the ball. Uh, an upgrade on son, I would say. Diani, crazy value, pretty good play style. I'd like to see a few more, but 4 4. She's a really good, cheap gold attacker before you get to the top end cards. Voller, nice play styles. Wish it wasn't chip shot that you, they gave him, but he's got some good play styles. Uh, with a Hunter, he's got near 99 finishing and shot power. Well, he does have 99 finishing, but pretty weird card, to be honest. Uh, Stoichkov, gold technical, finesse, uh, really good physical, uh, crazy on the ball. Uh, gold technical really boosts this card. Uh, and then we're going to go to the next page where we look at some of the really, really elite attackers. So I'll hide my screen while we do this. Don't want you peeking. Okay, here we go. So with Vinny Jr. Hawk on him. Gives him 93 finishing. 90, 84 shot pad. 99 pace though. That gold quick step. Uh, first touch. Traveller. Rapid. Finesse shot. He's really, really good this year. Uh, gold quick step. I mean, these play styles make a lot of these uh, icons in here. It's just insane. Uh, Eto is really, really good. Played against him in a weekend league. He was just a nightmare. Jazzinio. Again, crazy card. Neymar, really, really good this year. The play styles just seem to make him even better on the ball. If that you thought that's even possible. 5-5, five, five. not the easiest to link in, but I would play this card on 1-2. Kemi still going to be insane for you. Uh, Messi, I'm playing him on 1 Kem. Still very, very good. You can see his goal contributions in 20 games for me. Um, decent positions as well. Uh, the play styles... If there's a card that has, like, if I could look at a card and say this is the best play styles on any card in the game, Messi would be up there. Other than Dead Ball, which is good, but you don't really need it. If you took Dead Ball and gave it, like, first touch or rapid, he'd pretty much be perfect in terms of seven play styles you could pick for a card. Uh, he's insane. Uh, about as good as he gets on the game when it comes to on the ball and passing. Raul. With a Hawk, 98 finishing movement, 94 shot power, 93 long shots. He's got an insane shot. It's fairly quick. Strength, not bad. Very good at vision and short pass. Good on the ball. 4-4. Four, four. Then he's got that gold finesse. He's got technical quick step, first touch. Very good card. Uh, Benzema, gold finesse. Incisive pass, first touch, tiki Taka. Pretty weird card, but I imagine when this Benzema gets some upgrades, he's going to be really good. With a Hunter, you are getting 99 finishing. He's going to have an insane finesse. His passing's good. He's strong. Benzema's really good. When he gets some upgrades, he's going to be one of the best attackers. Del Piero. Five-star weak foot. Gold finesse. Need I say any more? George Best. Gold technical. First touch. Quick step. One of the best dribblers in the game. Thierry Henry. Four-star, four-star. Gold rapid. Finesse. Quick step. Ridiculous card. Hansen. This Trailblazer is ridiculous. I've used her in draft four or five different times. She just carries the draft for me every time. I can only imagine what she'd be like having your actual team. The Gold Hansen's insane, uh, but this one got Gold Finesse and a decent start upgrade. She's ridiculous. I think long term in my team, my upgrade's going to be Figo to Gold Hansen. She's ridiculous. She feels just different in game. Uh, gold Eusebio doesn't have as many play styles as you'd have, but Gold Rapid on a card like this. I'd be putting Hawk on him. He'd be near maxed out shooting. He's insane in game. I played against him one time. Just You knew he was against a ridiculous card. Gold Salah. Uh, 
I think that this one is better. People say, oh, he loses the finesse, but I think gold technical is insane. It's a ridiculous card. Salah also feels very strong in game. Uh, Mbappe. I think this one is better. I, I think the play style of this is worse than gold quick set, but he didn't even have power shots, so to get gold out of nowhere, really good. Mbappe is just built different on the game. Uh, Cruyff. Play styles, I wish that they gave him quick step or rapid or technical. Cruyff's not as good as he should be because the play styles on him are really not the ones I would pick. 5-5 five, five, though, he's still got ridiculous stats. Dino, really good card. Crazy to play with. Feels special on the ball. Hab, one of the top 3-5 to five attackers in the game. R9, probably still the best attacker I would say. Um, after I've tried a few of these cards out in different accounts. He's ridiculous. And then the last few, the range are a bit low, but they're midfielders, so we just put them in like that. Ginola, ridiculous card again. I don't know how Ginola is always one of the top five attackers, but gold technical, quick step, 5-5, five, five, insane. Zico, midfielder or attacker, really good. Baggio, that gold technical and some really good play styles really add to this card this year. Charlton, similar to Eusebio, but miles cheaper. I would love to use this Bobby Child. I, uh, one of my friends has him in his team and loves him. Pele, gold technical on him. Finesse, incisive pass, quick step. Some ridiculous stats across the board. Pele and Arnide are probably the two best attackers, in my opinion. Obviously, that's a quick fire go for all of them, but we had a lot of cards to get through. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this video. As always, keep it spicy. I'll see you guys at the next one. Let me know who your favourite attackers are. Peace.